we are talking about roasting red bell peppers. This one is a perfect specimen. It's elongated, it's got smooth skin, and it's perfect. If you like red bell pepper when it's raw, you're going to love it when it's roasted. This, my friends, is the food of the gods. So when you get ready to do your roasting, get yourself ready, have a plastic bag ready to pop your roasted pepper in there, and you can start. Do them one at a time, but do them all at the same time. I mean, not one tonight and one tomorrow. That's, that's silly. So this is what you've got for tongs. Borrow some. These are perfect for ice, but not for roasting peppers. You want to have a good amount of space between you and the heat. You can't do it successfully on an electric range. You've got a gas grill outside or you have gas inside your kitchen. Perfect. This is the tongs. Remember the tongs. So last night I did all of my peppers when you sit them into the plastic bag and you close it all up, you are letting those sweat. And that means the heat and moisture that's in that pepper is going to loosen up the skin that just got scorched. And think of it as your epidermis. When you've got an hour at least in between the time they've popped into that bag, then you can pull them out and they'll have cooled enough that you can handle them and you're going to pull off that skin. So that's just the raw skin, not the outside epidermis. When you've got all that done, then you can take your knife, open them up, take out the extra membrane and the seeds. I save the seeds if I know where the peppers came from. This is what they look like when it's been quartered. The color is marvelous and it's tender. Some of my peppers last night went into the food processor and it makes a nice sauce. Some of this went into one of my hummuses. I'm going to put this on some pasta. Some people just like to dip it in this. This would be like a red pepper hummus. Or if you're going to do appetizers and you have people coming over, a crostini is very easy to do. Just small pieces of bread. The drier the better. If you like caprese, you can do a mock of caprese using the roasted bell. Mozzarella was on the bottom as in a leaf of fresh basil. Or this one has a Parmesan cheese dressing basing, uh, dressing as the base, along with the pepper and some artichoke hearts and more of the cheese. Very simple. That doesn't have to be extravagant. Watch what's fresh at the grocery or the farmer's market. And think about this. This is something to do on a rainy day or in the evening or very early in the morning. Don't create heat in the middle of your day. Thank you for watching and see you soon.